Good morning. A very good morning to you all, whoever you are listening to me. Um, we are looking now at Hebrews chapter 3 and the first six verses, which I have to confess I have not ever spent any time thinking about. There's a comparison in these verses between Jesus and Moses. Now, I hope you know much of the story of Moses. Moses was the great leader, um, the one who was found in the bulrushes um, uh, when he was at risk of being killed as a baby by the Egyptian authorities who were killing the Hebrew boys as they were born. Um, and he was found by Pharaoh's daughter and raised in the household of Pharaoh and uh, killed an Egyptian when he was 40, um, when he was trying to defend one of the Hebrew slaves in Egypt. Then he went into the wilderness and spent 40 years in the wilderness. And then God called him to lead his people out of Egypt. And all the plagues happened in Egypt um, as Moses kept going back to Pharaoh and asking him to release the people of Israel to go to worship God um, and to let his people go, to let God's people go. And Moses faithfully led the people for 40 years through the wilderness to the edge of the promised land. A great leader, a great man of God, a great servant of God. And Jesus is compared to him in these verses. Jesus the son, Moses the servant, serpent, no, not servant, servant. <laughs> oh dear, what a slip of the tongue. Moses the servant and Jesus the son. But there's a comparison here in verse 3 that says, Jesus has been counted worthy of as much more honour than Moses as the builder of a house has more honour than the house. So here is the comparison. And this is our thought for the day, really, that thinking about all that Moses did and Moses was walking this earth for uh, 100, 120 years. And Jesus only lived 33 ish. We're not sure exactly how many years, but around 33. Um, but the comparison is that just as a, a wonderful house is not praised, has no worth, has no praise. The praise goes to the person who built the house, the architect, the builders, the, the ones who erected this fantastic building. One could think of perhaps St Paul's Cathedral and Sir Christopher Wren, you know. We all know the name Sir Christopher Wren. Why? Because he built St Paul's Cathedral. Uh, the architect, just, uh, you know, this is a wonderful comparison. A house, a beautiful house. When you see this wonderful house, the first thing you think of, perhaps, is who built it? Who was the man who planned this house? The man who saw it built. And this comparison is a lovely comparison, isn't it? Because actually the, the house is bricks and mortar. The one who built it is the human being and there's a huge gulf between a great man like Moses and the son of God Jesus they are as different as a house is to its builder Jesus can't be compared on the same level as any other human being he is not comparable to Buddha or to Muhammad he is not comparable to any of the great Sikh leaders or any of the great, uh, uh, what do they call them? Uh, any of the great mystic leaders and uh, of, of Eastern religions. He's not comparable to any of them. He is far, far above, far superior to all of them. He is different. He is of a different kind. He is far superior. As my Bible puts it, uh, the little title for this is Christ as Lord, superior to Moses, Moses as servant. And that's the comparison that's being made. 
the Lord Jesus is the one we follow, not Moses. We, we learn from Moses, we learn about him, we read, we see his life, we learn lessons from the things he did and experienced, but we don't honour him and exalt him in the way that we honour and exalt the Lord Jesus. There's no comparison. Christ as Lord is superior to Moses as servant. That's the whole, the whole thing of Hebrews is this theme repeated in lots of different contexts is how superior Jesus is to this, that and the other and how superior the new covenant is to the old covenant. And the old covenant was wonderful. So that's this is our thinking for today. Read those th those six verses, uh, Hebrews three, uh, one to six. And if you have time today, read the rest of chapter three. And we'll meet again tomorrow. May God bless you richly today. Bye bye for now.